you'll be hearing things like, you know, it's stage one, two, three or four. And really, what does that mean? Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Leong. I'm a clinical oncologist and I'm passionate about raising awareness in lung cancer. We are currently living in an exciting era of precision medicine and there have been so much advancement made in terms of anti-cancer treatment for lung cancer. Just because you're diagnosed with lung cancer, it does not mean this is a death sentence. So treatment can vary from surgery to systemic treatment such as chemotherapy, immunotherapy and targeted therapy depending on the tumour type and depending on the stage that an individual presents with. When it comes to early stage lung cancer, we are referring to someone with a stage 1 or stage 2 lung cancer. So for this individual, we often advise them to go for upfront surgery, i.e. the removal of either a partial lung or an entire lung depending on the extent of the tumour. This is important for us to eliminate as much disease burden as possible. Following the surgery, you will then be referred to an oncologist to talk about adjuvant therapy. When we say adjuvant therapy, what we really mean is that a treatment that comes after surgery. And the reason to do an adjuvant therapy, despite removing the entire tumour, is really to eradicate what could be left behind as a micrometastasis. So we would like to reduce the risk of recurrence in the patient by offering adjuvant therapy in the hope that the patient does not have disease recurrence in the next 3, 5 or even 10 years. So it's a bit trickier when it comes to a stage 3 lung cancer. A stage 3 lung cancer is defined by a cancer that is locally advanced but hasn't spread beyond the lung or regional nodes. So there will be a tumour board meeting where your surgeon will discuss with your oncologist in the best method forward. And often, the patient will be recommended a treatment known as neoadjuvant. So as the word implies neoadjuvant, it is a treatment that is given prior to a definitive treatment such as surgery. So he or she could be advised to do some form of systemic chemotherapy for four to six cycles in the hope that the tumour will downstage itself, it will shrink to make the surgery more feasible. And now it comes to the treatment of stage 4 lung cancer. Stage 4 lung cancer denotes a cancer that has spread beyond the lung and regional node tissue to other areas such as the bone, the liver and even the brain. In such patients, surgery is no longer an option most of the time and that's when we turn into systemic treatment. For many decades, systemic chemotherapy has been the backbone of cancer treatment in stage 4 lung cancer. But in recent times, with the finding of new mutation in lung cancer, the doctor does what we know as the next generation sequencing or an NGS testing. This is a test that is done on your tumour tissue to really look at what are the potential mutations in your tumour. By knowing what mutation that your tumour has, you can then decide and personalise what targeted therapy that can be used on yourself because these can significantly prolong their survival outcome while minimising toxicity that is often associated with systemic chemotherapy. So it is important for us to understand that not all patients with lung cancer have a targetable mutation. So your doctor will also do a test known as the PDL1 testing. This is done on your tumor biopsy specimen. So by knowing your PDL1 score, it's graded into low, intermediate, or high. And so by knowing this score, your doctor will then advise whether you're a suitable candidate for immunotherapy. There are also other elements of treatment that's essentially also very important for a patient with advanced lung cancer. 
and these are treatment modalities such as radiotherapy. It's also important for me to integrate best supportive care early in the patient with advanced lung cancer. This is very important for us to continue to let the patient have a good quality of life and at the same time to establish rapport between the patient, family members and the hospice team as early as possible. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Leung. If you find my video helpful, do share my video and check out my other videos as well. Bye!